Okay, this video is uh, a little more personal. I have a, an email here, his name is Rigo, and the subject is algebra. And it just seems like a little more personal, so I'm gonna read the email and do my best to answer it. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section. When you leave advice for people, it, it can really help people. Hello, Math Sorcerer, I hope you're doing well. I'm 19 and I recently enrolled at my local community college and I'm taking a college level algebra class. I just took the unit one test two weeks ago and I got a 44 out of 100, uh oh. I knew I was behind and lacked the prerequisites but I enrolled regardless. The more I look at the material, the more apparent my lack of knowledge and fundamentals becomes. If I'm being honest, I haven't been giving school all, my all and I've had a series of very poorly timed and fortunate of a series of events in quick su succession. If I had given it my all, I don't know how well I would be doing right now, but I'm sure I would be doing better than now. The point of my email is I wanted you advice on should I drop the course, focus on learning the prerequisites on my own, or should I try to push through and see what I can do? If I'm being honest, at this point, even if I ace all the upcoming quizzes and homework, my grade probably won't go over a C. I'm not sure you know how grading works in CC, it's my first semester. Thank you for your time if you read this. Wow, well hopefully I get this in time and I post it in time. So, um, man, I don't know. I mean, you, if, if, you, if you just feel like it's way too much and, and, and you just started and you can drop and there's no penalty and maybe even take a different class, then I'm going to say maybe yes, that's a good idea. Especially since it's happening so early. Uh, now, if you withdraw, um, that goes in your transcript, right? So that could have some implications and stuff, like if you're on financial aid, but usually it's not too bad, so, but you can just find out about that, right? That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Find out if there's any implications if you withdraw and then find out about that. I mean, I don't know. It's your first, it's your first time in college, right? Like, I don't know, right? You, yeah, you might probably won't go over a C. I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe you were put in the wrong class, right? That's happened. I, I've been put in the wrong class. When I was when I was in eighth grade, they put me in a class and it was like an algebra class and I had to do algebra. And I was like you, I didn't know what was going on, you know, and I eventually went to the principal and I said, hey, can you take me out of this class? And, and they took me out and they put me in another class, which, which was worse, but hopefully this, your other class won't be worse. Uh, you know, hopefully it's better. <laughs> hopefully your story is better than mine. But yeah, yeah, that's my advice. If anyone else has advice for Rigo, you know, leave a comment uh, in the comment section below. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Uh, I have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but uh, if, you, if you decide to get one, please use the links from my website as it helps me greatly. And uh, I've lowered the prices so they're really low. So I've got courses where you can um, learn math. Learn, I have college algebra course. Or you go, take that. <laughs> you could do that. You could take my course, my college algebra course. That, that's an idea. It just occurred to me. That's something else you could do. So get out of the class. Take an easier class if you still can. And then take that course and then retake it later. Yeah, but take an easier course. I think that might be uh, in your situation the way to go. Especially because it's your first semester. Good luck.